Alright, what's going on guys? It's Valrico here and today we're gonna be talking about Battlefield 1 and the, the I think it was called the E the EA play event that happened just a few minutes ago, probably about an hour ago. I uh first of all let's let's just get it right into it. That the game looks fucking gorgeous. It looks amazing. Um I knew it was gonna look good, but I didn't know how it was gonna look because of the fact that um with Star Wars Battlefront it looked better than Battlefield 4, which Battlefield 4 looks amazing still to this day, but um, Star Wars Battlefront lo looked extremely beautiful, mostly because of the fact that there was no destructible environments, which won't take up, you know, so much of the RAM memory or whatever it does, you know, it takes up, obviously, it takes up, the, you know, the resources of whatever hardware you're playing on, whether it's Xbox, PlayStation, PC, or whatever, so I didn't know how it was going to look, you know, you know, and how it's going to be optimized. So, you know, right off the bat, I'm looking at this gameplay and I'm like, God damn, look at these graphics. There's fucking, there's destructible environments still, obviously, which is a good thing. You know, people are bobbing and weaving in between alleyways. You know, uh, Snoop Dogg is smoking a joint and playing at the same time. It was hilarious. When they cut the camera down, he's got a, he's got a blunt hanging out of his mouth and he's sitting here stoned to the gills. Zach Heffron was obviously hanging out with him because this guy was sweating up a storm. It was like Snoop Dogg polluted him with the strongest strain of marijuana he's ever had in his life. This dude's in here sweating like a motherfucker. It was tremendous. But uh, back to the gameplay. It, they, they, people were bobbing and weaving um, in, in and out of alleyways. There was a lot of um, wide open spaces. Just, you know, battlefield all around. It, it was a beautiful fucking game. They had the uh, the Zeppelin, which was like this big ass fucking blimp that w that was shooting missiles out of it. And then actually, it was crazy because every time you shoot down the blimp or the the Zeppelin, whatever you want to call it, it w once you shoot it down, it comes crashing on the map and destroys the buildings around uh, the area. And it also uh, um, it never falls in the same spot every time. And they emphasize that, you know, the commentators did. And it doesn't. It, it was crazy. And then they had, like, you know, obviously the propeller planes, the uh, the Red Barons basically flying around shooting at each other. It was just tremendous. Like, I would pre-order it immediately, but I'm not because of the fact that I want the Digital Deluxe, the $100 edition with the, uh, the maps and shit. That's normally what I do with multiplayer games. Now I buy, you know, when I know guaranteed that it's going to be a good multiplayer game like Battlefield. Just go ahead and pay the $100, get the maps, get everything squared away already, you know what I mean? Because you know it's going to be a good year for that game. I did it with this game, so, uh, you know what I mean? Just give me all the maps, just just give me just give me everything that you got, just just give it to me. I don't want to hear about, I don't want to think about it later. I just want everything that the game is supposed to have. So, they don't have it, as far as I know, I haven't checked the PlayStation Store, but they only have the early enlister edition. For eighty dollars, and then the, the the standard edition. I don't want those. I want the hundred dollar edition, deluxe premium edition with all the fucking maps. So as soon as that goes up, they're thinking to be hitting that pre-order button. This game is absolutely gorgeous. They had um, submachine guns that I don't think were fr from that era, but um, they they can finagle it in there. It's it's difficult. It's difficult because it's obviously World War One, so they're not gonna have certain weapons. But they could still put them in the game and then just call them like you know prototypes or something like that. See, this, this was a, a, a special gun that only certain um, military people could get. So they could just finagle it in there some way like that. But just the fucking... And then when the rain started, the rain was the most important thing to me. Because the, when the rain started, it looked so fucking real. It looked like rain. And then, like, water would uh, get on your gun and you could see it on your gun the sounds was good like the, the bayonet charges where you can charge people and stab people in the stomach like oh my fucking god i was i was in here marking out this is this shit was crazy son this shit is crazy it and then i look at the comment section or uh, the, the chat excuse me you know so i was watching the live stream i was actually gonna watch my nascar race now I'm gonna watch it after this video goes up, but I'm sitting here watching this fucking this footage, and I'm like, this is outrageous. The, the graphics are beautiful, the the sounds good, and then um, I also seen people throwing mustard gas, and then I, I you know, uh, you I think you have to put a mask on. I think you have like a mask that comes with. I don't know if it comes with if it's equipment or if it comes with every uh every guy, but you have to throw a 
a mask on that dodges it mustard gas because people can throw it as grenades. I think you'll probably have to have it, like, you know, you'll have to get rid of one of your attachments or something like that. One of your equipment, probably, most likely one of your equipment to rock the uh, gas masks. But all around, what a beautiful fucking game. Like, it's it's crazy, man. But Call of Duty, like I was going to say earlier in the comment section, the, the, the chat, I didn't mean to press the middle button there, but in the chat, there was a there was just nothing but nonstop rip Call of Duty. But, you know, let's be honest. Like, how are they going to compete with this fucking game? This game looks amazing. It's retarded how good it looks. I don't understand. Like, what do they, they have space jumping? Boogaloo, Boogaloo Warfare, whatever you want to call that bullshit. And then they have uh, uh, COD 4, which I'm not paying $80 for COD 4. That's just simply not going to happen. I'm going to wait like a smart human until they release that shit separately, which they will. And I also heard that Infinite Warfare was having trouble with pre-order numbers. So, you know, it is what it is. Uh, th things change. People move on. I'm definitely looking forward to this Battlefield 1. Absolutely gorgeous gameplay. Fucking destruction everywhere. Just tremendous all around. But nevertheless, like and subscribe, all that shit, all that bullshit. Twitter.com slash Valrico. YouTube.com slash Valrico. And I'm out of this bitch. Peace. Um.